Welcome back. New Jersey Governor and Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie taking his case to Iowa voters this weekend as he vows to be in the top 10 for the next debate in the middle of September. We asked him about Hillary Clinton when we talked to him. The governor said he's already looking forward to debating her on the stage in November. Here's part of the interview. So you're a former prosecutor, of course. How would you evaluate Hillary Clinton's legal situation with her emails right now? I think she's got some serious problems, Tucker, on two fronts. I think first is, was there obstruction of justice? Uh, did she delete emails or order emails to be deleted when, in fact, she was under subpoena from the House of Representatives? Um, secondly, is the issue of classified information. You know, did she mishandle classified information and did members of her staff mishandle classified information? David Petraeus was prosecuted for this. The fact is, the laws apply to Hillary Clinton whether she thinks they do or not. Uh, and I think she's got some significant answering to do. And I'll tell you this, Tucker. I'm looking forward to being the Republican nominee and being on the stage next fall in 2016 because she hasn't been cross-examined by a real prosecutor. When I get the chance to do that, the American people will finally get some answers. So you're the governor of a state that's right in the middle of kind of the finance trial of America. Should ordinary Americans be worried about what's happened to the stock market in the last couple of days? Listen, you always have to be concerned when our stock market shows some weakness. But the fact is we've had an unprecedented run here. Here's the problem. The problem is that we don't have enough economic growth in this country. It's weak and the American people know it. And what they want is a president who's pro-growth, who wants to cut taxes, get rid of loopholes, stop making the uh, tax code rigged for the rich, make it work for middle class Americans. You implied you believe the tax code is rigged for the rich. Do you think that's true? Yes, I do. How so? Well, listen, because there's dozens upon hundreds of special loopholes and deductions that you can only get if you have a lobbyist. I say get rid of all those loopholes, all those deductions, except for two. The mortgage interest deduction on your home and the charitable contribution deduction when you donate to charities. All the rest of them should go. As a result, we could lower rates down to 28% as a top rate, 8% as a low rate, and one rate in the middle. Economic growth would soar in this country, and people could do their taxes in 15 minutes. Imagine, Tucker, how many people I could fire from the IRS if we did that. You'd have to fight your way through a crowded room of lobbyists to get that through. So you've been on, uh, you've been on the road for months <laughs> now. What do your kids make of this, the spectacle of the presidential race? Well, you know, they're all learning. Tucker, it's a learning experience for the whole family. In fact, we're here at the Iowa State Fair with all, all four of our children, and my wife Mary Pat's here. It's a great experience for them to see what it's really like to run for president of the United States. And so, so far, at least in the first few months of this campaign, everybody's adjusting really well, and we're doing it as a family and enjoying ourselves so far. Check with me in December or January. We'll see how it's going then, but right now, everybody's pretty happy. So you're going to make it into the next debate in the top ten next month? I'm in the top ten, and I'll stay in the top ten. Thanks for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. That debate, the next one, will take place September 16th at the Ronald Reagan Presidential Library outside Los Angeles. You just heard the governor pledge to be in it. Coming up next, you heard from Chris Christie. Now another candidate, Senator Lindsey Graham of South Carolina, joins us. He'll be here next hour to react to the recent attempted terror attack and the brave Americans who prevented that tragedy. He's also going to tell us what he thinks of Donald Trump.